first year open house and is the director of the sequential art program at Maxima. Why don't you, uh, do you have any words you'd like to say? Yeah, I, I, I think I'll just sort of um, revisit what I said to the parents and uh, the, the students and, and people who came to see the show. Um, I tell people when I go on tours and give tours here at the school that first year is where you find out mm -hmm. what you can do, whether you have the skills to do it, yeah. whether you have the time management skills, whether you have the self-discipline and the determination and whether you have the work ethic to do it. Um, the students whose work is on these walls, they have found out and really I think to look at this work and anyone who is even a tiny bit interested should come and look at it is to find out what you can do with a year of proper instruction, um, with high level instructors, um, with passion, with a good work ethic um, and with um, just a lot of determination. It's wonderful, it's exciting, it's creative, and as an instructor and as coordinator, it's doubly exciting because it is only the beginning, mm -hmm. and what is to come next will be even better. It's awesome. How have you found this year to been? Very good. I, I think, um, you know, every year has a different personality. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of, even, even if I don't look at the school as a school, but I think about the school um, in terms of my program, the sequential program, um, not only is it a question of the skills that artists display, but a group personality. And this group is a, is a very good group. They're a very supportive group. Mm -hmm. um, they are a group that seems to pull together to help each other. And when you see that, um, that's exciting too, because you, you know that, that when the rigors of second year, which is often very demanding, um, come, that's going to be very important. So. Yes, it's, it is about skills and it is about the artwork that you see, but you also see people whose personalities have great personalities and are tough-minded in the right mm -hmm. way, and, it, and it'll be exciting to see what they do next year. Awesome. And what's your field of expertise? Um, my, you know, my thing really is comics in, in a lot of ways. I mean, I've done a whole bunch of different things in illustration, comics, um, role-playing games, commercial art, and that sort of thing. But, you know, if I had to go to a desert island my, and I had to take only one thing, leave the movies behind, leave your music behind, leave your books behind, leave your comics behind, well, the one thing I wouldn't leave behind would be the comics. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why I'm here, that's why I'm doing this. Um, that's what I love in the deepest way and I hope that's what I um, transmit to the students. Awesome. And what would you recommend to anyone who is interested in career and some like sequential arts? Well, I've been asked that question, interestingly enough, quite frequently recently on tours that I give at the school. And yes, you know, if it is difficult because any art field is it's demanding, it's competitive. Um, but I would say, in many ways, there is more opportunity than there has ever, ever been. You know, it, it was a, there wasn't a time not so long ago when to, to work in comics meant going to New York and working, say, for just Marvel or DC. Mm -hmm. Now, with the internet, with web comics, um, with the reach that you can get through that, um, with with book publishers and so on doing graphic novels and graphic novels for young people, um, with comics being taken seriously in, in newspapers, with libraries now stocking comics and manga sections that are growing all the time. Um, there is, pro in some ways, I think there is probably no better time than today, especially too, if you, if you have a personal vision and want to do different things, there's more opportunities today than there's ever been. If you're curious about learning more about the school or pursuing a career in animation, concept art, or sequential art, Click on the blue link that the red arrows are pointing to in the box below, or go to www.bestschoolsforanimation.com. If you haven't watched the first year open house video, click on the large thumbnail below. To watch more interviews of students, click on the thumbnails of the students.